Bang. Hello fashionistas! Welcome to my YouTube channel! So for today's video, we get another DIY tutorial of silky dress. So parang obsession ka na to. So ayan. So they posted another uh, silky dress in Instagram. So this is the inspired dress again. So, so ayan guys, before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, and comment down below. So ayan, without further ado, let's get started! So here it is guys, this is the materials that we're gonna use for today. So we have here the bright pink or neon pink. So we have here the organza. This one is 5 yards, so this is 5 yards each. Uh, I bought this in Amazon. I will link down below guys so you can get yours. So this is the total of 10 yards. So we also need scissors, pins, markers, and we also need the measurements. So let's get started! And also, before I forget, guys, we also need a lining. I have here 5 yards of the satin fabric. Uh, I bought this online, so I'm just gonna put the link down below so you can check it out. And let's get started, guys, by getting all the measurement and cutting the pieces. So here, I'm just getting the length of the bodies. Then make sure, guys, to add allowance when cutting on the fabric later for allowing us to sew later. By the way guys, I'm working on the front and the back bodies. I'm just using the measurement that I got earlier. So here, I'm just getting the half measurement of the bodies. So to get that measurement, we're gonna measure, measure it this way. So get half of that measurement. And always make sure guys to add allowance in transferring it in the fabric or cutting in the fabric. And as you can see here guys, the front and the back bodies have different measurement. So here is the measurement. After cutting all the lining pieces, we just gonna trace it on the main fabric or in the organza fabric. And it will look like this. Ayan. So yeah, and this is are all the pieces cut together for the bodies. So next, we're gonna move on on making the skirt. So here, I'm just gathering all the pieces. So, I mean, I fold it few times so it's easier for us to cut later. So, to get the measurement, we need to determine the waist going down and that's the length that you wanted. So, for mine, is 13 inch. So, this is what I mean, guys. This fabric is fold few times already. So, it's easier or it's shorter for us to cut later. And I also, as you can see, I pin down everything so it doesn't move because it's hard to work on this fabric it's so silky and smooth it it moves everywhere so it's better to pin everything down before cutting it and then after cutting the first one i'm just gonna use it to trace to cut another one so we have longer or more fluffier skirt we're just gonna connect the pieces together before gathering them so this is the measurement or the total measurement for that skirt so since the fabric is fold already, so I decided to cut all the ruffles on this remaining fabric. So I'm just gonna cut everything's left. So by the way, I'm just gonna use three of this three pieces of this one. Moving on for making a fab slip. So here I already have made this one. I used this few times in my DIY. So here, as you can see guys, I'm already using the other part of that organza fabric. So for this one, we're only gonna use it for the fab slip because we don't have enough. So we're just gonna use part of it. So here, I fold it this way, like fold it in half. And then fold it over, overlay like that. So we can create two fab slip in one cut. So it's two fab slip. So we're just gonna put our pattern there pin it down and cut it all the way and then after cutting that we have two pieces of the fab slip Ta -da! here is the measurement for our fab slip and then next we're gonna cut the lining pieces for the skirt so here i did the same way like i did to the organza i fold it few times so it's not longer for us to cut so here i'm just measuring it 
So after cutting the first pieces, I'm just gonna trace it to create two pieces of that. So we have a long rectangular lining for the skirt. And here is the total measurement for the lining. So here guys, these are all the pieces that already cut together. We are now ready to connect them or ready to sew. We're gonna start on working on the bodies. So here we're gonna start on cutting the back bodies. We're gonna fold it in half, determine the middle and cut it. And that's gonna be the middle back for adding the zipper later. The same way for the lining, cut it in the middle. And then after cutting all the pieces together, facing right side together, we're gonna pin it down and sew it. We're just gonna sew it here and here. The same way to the front bodies. So here they are already pinned down. We're gonna sew it here. But before sewing it, we're gonna trim it in the side so it's more fitting in the waistline. I'm gonna trim about 1 inch in, those, in both sides on those. So to get that measurement, we measure our waist and that's your measurement. So we're just gonna trim it that way, like so. And this is what I mean guys, it's shaped the waist like that. Let's bring it to the sewing machine now. So these are all the pieces that sewn together. This is how it look like when you flip it inside out. We are now ready to connect the front and the back bodies. This is the front bodies. We're just gonna lay down the back bodies just like so. Ayan. We're gonna put it that way. We're gonna sew it here and here. And this is the middle back here. And by the way guys, after sewing the front and the back bodies, I also created a dart. So this is how it look like inside the body. So this is the measurement for that one. Instead of that 6 inch, it should be 8 inch. But it's my mistake. You can do yours guys so you can correct my mistake. So yeah, this is how it look like on the bodies now. And then moving on to the next step, we're gonna start gathering the skirt pieces and the lining pieces. First, we're gonna connect them together. So for gathering the skirt, I use the serger to gather all the pieces that I have. But for you guys, you can use the straight stitch. If you don't have a serger, you can use the basic stitching stitch and then gather it manually. I did the serger because it's easier for me to work on. It's a faster way to do it. So here guys, after gathering all the pieces, so I realized I created more fluffier skirt. It's like double the size. So for you guys to save, you can use half of the length of the skirt that I cut. So for me, I still use the same, all the size. So I just double it. It's like two layers so plus lining so it's like three layer of the skirt now so it created more fluffier on the on the on the i mean on the dress and that's what i want so yeah so for you guys for you to save you can use the half of the size of the skirt so now here i'm just trying to connect the bodies and the skirt i'm just gonna pin everything down before sewing it because it's gonna be too thick so i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say the size of the skirt because i give you the measurement for that so you can cut it you can use half of the length so here as you can see i'm just trying to finish pinning it down everything before sewing it I'm now sewing everything down, the Mission Impossible, and ta-da! This is the dress now. So far, this is the dress. Almost, almost done. So next, I'm gonna add zipper on it on the back. So this is how it look like. So before adding the zipper, I decided to serge the bulky edge in the waistline. 
So, ayan. I'm just surging it now. And now, for adding the zipper, we're gonna close the middle back, leaving the half inch away for adding the zipper. So, here, I have here my zipper. So, you can see as the teeth here, we need to face it in the front, just like so. And then, we're gonna pin down the other side. Before doing that, we're gonna sew close the middle back first. And here, as you can see guys, I already pinned half of the zipper in there. So, we're gonna sew here in this side here. We're gonna sew the side all the way. We're just gonna flip it around and then go along just like so. And we're gonna use the seam ripper to seam rip in here for the zipper opening, just like so. So then after that, I decided to hem the lining of the skirt first before moving on to the next step. So next, we're gonna start gather the ruffle for the dress. So here, I use the serger again to gather everything. But as I've said before, guys, you can use the straight stitch to gather it manually it works too so here are the gather pieces we are now ready to connect all the ruffle pieces to the dress so here guys i'm at first i'm trying to pin everything down but that's gonna take too long so i decided to sew along the way so yeah i bring it to the sewing machine and sew everything down directly so yeah it turned out good though. It, it's more easier that way. Save some time. Moving on next, we're gonna work on the fap sleeve. Again, this is the measurement for the fap sleeve. So, we're gonna start sewing or close this one here, this side. And also hem the sleeve opening. I'm also gonna create a tunnel in there for inserting the elastic on the fap sleeve. And then I decided to search every row edge so it's easier for me to, to fold it in half or to hem everything down. And here it's easier for me to hem the sleeve opening now. We'll just fold it twice and sew it all the way. The same way for creating a channel, we just fold it once because we searched the row edge already. Fold it once and then clip some opening and sew it all the way and here guys for sewing the tunnel make sure to leave some opening to insert the elastic later and this is how it look like i leave some opening there for inserting the elastic so now we're gonna create a channel here it's like we can create we can just fold it like that we don't need to create one and add it there so it's easier this way we just fold this like that i'm gonna show you guys here you're just gonna do it like that pin it in a middle and then sew both sides of the edge and then leave some opening to insert the elastic by the way guys this is one of my secret i don't know if other do it but i never seen anyone doing it like this so yeah Taran! I'm just so glad to share it with you guys. This is the easiest way technique to add the channel for inserting the elastic. Like, and now, guys, for getting the elastic measurement in the armhole or in the sleeve, fab sleeve, I do it this way. So, ayan, it's easier that way. So, ayan, guys, both sleeve is done. I already pinned down one of the sleeve here in the side seam of the bodies the same way to the other one you can do pin it down first before sewing it down so it's safer that way and it's even ayan guys the next video will be me modeling the dress i hope you guys like this video thank you for watching
guys. I hope you like this video as I enjoy it. So, ayan. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share down below, guys. So, ayan. Please subscribe to my channel. Please do support me, guys. So, ayan. See you in my next video. And thank you for watching.